so I am coming to you with another review video for a company that I found out through Facebook. Uh, they friended me a while back and I decided to ask them if they would like to send me some samples to review and so she was more than happy to so I got my Inez stuff and I had a chance to play with a few of the colors over the past you know like yesterday and today so um, I will tell you a little bit about where you can find them how much they cost and everything so right now they don't have an actual website just yet they're still growing and so they're still you know working their way towards becoming a bigger business so until they get a website, right now they're just running through things through their Facebook page, which if you just go to facebook.com slash Inaz Cosmetics, that's I-N-A-Z, you can find pictures of all of their products and uh, information and stuff like that, and then you can just, you know, contact them through that page and do business that way. Uh, I believe they do everything through PayPal, so that keeps things safe and easy. So they have, right now, they have 63 shades currently. They are working on getting more shades. They also have 13 glam glitters. Uh, all of their products are available in 10 gram jars, and they run at $10 a piece, which is pretty affordable if you think about it, because 10 grams is quite a bit of product. So I would say that that's pretty um, reasonable. So... Um, my experience with these is I actually really enjoyed them. They blend out super duper easily, uh, especially the shimmers. I do have one my eyeshadow, matte eyeshadow, which you have to work at a little bit more, but that's common with matte um, eyeshadows anyways. It's not that um, uh, uncommon. So they sent me eight eyeshadow pigments and then two of the glam glitters, and I loved everything. A couple of the colors I haven't actually had gotten a chance to play around with yet that I'm really looking forward to because actually one of them is my favorite one. I have a favorite, yeah. So one of them is my favorite ones out of all of them and I can't wait to use that one. And uh, first let me show you what they sent me. This color right here I am wearing. And this is called Electricity and this is a matte bright cobalty blue which is my eyeliner here and that makes a really cool it's eyeliner. Actually when it's wet it's really kind of a dark blue like really inky and then it dries to this bright bright blue. Um, now all of these shimmer shades that the rest of that I'm going to show you work best for me and my personal preference is on a creamy base. So as long as you have something like a good primer underneath your cream base, you shouldn't have a problem with creasing. I have yet to have a problem. I've been using MAC Paint Pot and Painterly. And then for my cream shadow, I just used e.l.f. and I used this light, um, well, not today, but yesterday I used the one in Butter Pecan. And then today I used Mocha Swirl, the lighter color on the Mocha Swirl because it's kind of silvery. So creamy base is how I prefer it. Um, because they do go on pigment, really pigmented, and actually almost like they're wet, so you don't even have to wet them down when I, or I didn't have to wet them down when I used a creamy base. Um, the other color that I'm wearing right now is called Silver Mist. It's this really pretty silvery, it's like a light silver, it's not super duper platinum, and I like that. It's a little bit more toned down from a platinum, but it is kind of in that platinum silvery family. Um... The other eyeshadow I'm wearing right now is also an Inez pigment. This is called Power, and this is a really gorgeous purple, and that's what I have under here, and I actually really love this one. It's one of my favorites. Actually, all these ones that I'm wearing right now are favorites out of the eight that she sent me, but I do have, like, like I said, one specific favorite. Um, the other thing that I'm wearing right now, I'll show you in a minute because it's a glitter, so I'm just going to stay on these eyeshadows right now. This one is called Canary, and this is just a really pretty uh, yellow. And this is actually similar to the Electric Lemonade from Glamour Doll Eyes and the yellow from our Glamix Cosmetics. So it's really pretty shimmery yellow. Okay, this one is called Reptar, and this is a yellowy green shimmer pigment. And it, I think it's got like some turquoise glitter in it, which is amazing. This is a really cool color. I really like this one. Uh, this one is called Sea Bass, and it's like a turquoise sea foam green. 
So it's like a similar to a seafoam, but it's got just a little bit more of a turquoise sheen or tone to it. And this one is called Royce. This is a gorgeous red color and it's very metallic-y. And this one actually kind of is similar to a Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadow. Uh, it kind of, when you rub it down, it kind of rubs down to like a coppery red color. So it's a really cool color. Um, now here are the Glam Glitters. And this one actually looks really cool. This is called Crimson Glam. This looks really cool over top of Royce and that's what I wore yesterday. So it's a really cool sparkly red glam. It's, it's really cool. And this one right here is called Glam Rock. And this is a silver holographic glitter, which I'm wearing right now over top of the silver mist. And this is awesome. Uh, it's very, very reflective. So I really like how reflective these glitters are. Oh, I forgot about my favorite one. This is my favorite one, and I can't believe I, for I forgot about it. This is called Sphinx. And... This is an amazing antiqued gold color. It's like really antique, so it has like that really kind of dark tone to it. My favorite. I haven't used it yet, but when I swatched it, I was like, <gasps> anyway. So, yeah, definitely check out Inez. Uh, when they get a website up, it's definitely something you should look at because they do have, you know, some good variety, good prices, lots of product. When you, uh, you know, buy it, it's a nice size, very generous product. So check them out, and thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I'm sorry I was all over the place. Uh, it's just one of those nights. So I will see you guys next time, and thanks so much for watching. Bye!